Before we begin programming in C Sharp, let's talk about how the C Sharp language is organized. So we're going to talk about the hierarchy of C Sharp elements in this video. C Sharp is organized uh, in the following way. We have these containers called namespaces. And inside a namespace, we have things called classes. Now, a namespace can contain many classes. Inside a class, we have a thing called a method. And a class can, 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 a class can contain many methods. A uh, class can also contain things called properties and fields, but we'll get to that later. Inside a method, a method is a container that holds statements. And a statement is kind of the, the building block of your C Sharp program. Now working our way back out, let's look at each of these components. So a statement is just a single line of code. Uh, in C Sharp, all statements end in a semicolon. Now a statement does you know, one piece of work. Maybe you declare a variable or print something to the console. A statement does a single piece of work. A group of statements can be placed inside a method. And a method is a container of statements that accomplishes some piece of work. So maybe a method would prompt the user to enter in a value and get that value back from the user. So it does a, a kind of a more complicated task that contains potentially several statements. Another thing about a method is a method is a reusable block of code. So if we write the statements that accomplish some task and we want to do that task repeatedly, we can just use the method instead of writing each statement again and again and again. All right, that brings us to a class. In C Sharp, a class can have two functions. Um, a class can, can work like a library of methods. So if you have a bunch of uh, tasks that need to be done, you can contain each of these methods inside a class. Another use for a class in C Sharp, and this goes, uh, this follows object-oriented design, is a class can behave as a blueprint for building an object. And we'll talk about that later. Finally, this brings us to namespace. A namespace behaves like a folder of classes. Um, if I wanted to create a class named uh, prompt, and someone else wanted to create a class named prompt, our two prompt classes could be used by a third party as long as each of our class files were in a unique namespace. So a namespace allows the existence of classes with the same name. All right, let's look at an example here. So I've, here we have a very simple short program that just prints the text hello world to the console. But we can see in C Sharp the hierarchy of C Sharp elements. So our outermost block of code here, we have this thing called a namespace. And I just gave it some generic name. Following this namespace declaration, I have a set of these curly brackets. These curly brackets in C Sharp define a code block. And any lines that exist between a pair of curly brackets can be considered inside this block of code. So inside this block of code attached to the namespace, I have a class. So inside my namespace, I have a class. Inside my attached to my class declaration, I have another code block. And inside that code block, I have this line right here. This defines a method. We can always spot methods in C Sharp because a method is, a, is some name with a pair of parentheses attached to it. So our main method here uh, has a code block attached to it. And inside that code block, we have a set of statements. We have three statements here. Notice each of them ends with a semicolon. Now these statements are printing text to the console, printing text to the console, and this third statement is waiting for the user to press any key. These group of statements are completing a task, which is defined by the main method. The main method exists in the class, in the program class. Program class exists in the my project name namespace. Now, using this hierarchy of C sharp elements, uh, we can use this hierarchy to, as like a a path to use other methods that exist in other classes that exist in other namespaces. For example, we said we can identify a method with a pair of parentheses attached. This right line 
element here, it has a pair of parentheses attached. This right line is a method. This method, right line method, exists in the console class, which exists in the system namespace. So we are using a method that was created in a different class that is stored in a different namespace. So everything in C-sharp should have this namespace class method hierarchy, which means uh, every method should be able to use uh, methods and classes that have been written elsewhere.